Hello community! Yes, we are again with Claude Sonnet 4. We go here for the smart, efficient model for everyday use. And we have test number two. And here we have an elevator test. So, it's a logic riddle. Solve it. You're trapped in a skyscraper with an elevator system. And you have certain rules. You have five buttons. And each of these buttons you have to press in a particular sequence. Plus, you have two trap floors. So, Let's go with explanatory and let's you know what we go with normal. Let's go with normal style, whatever this means. And let's see if our new, oh, your limit will be set at 2 a.m. Never mind. Here we go. Analysis, trap floors. Yeah, solution path. Step one. Corrected step one. Step two. Step three. Let me recalculate button A more carefully. Okay, systematic pathfinding strategy. Yes, a pathfinding strategy is what every good AI system needs. So we have here 10 moves, better solution found. Hey, that's great. So move three is now corrected. Find the optimal solution in five moves. This is not possible. The true optimal solution in four moves is also not possible. Let me restart completely. This is a good idea, yeah. Verified optimal solution, yes. Let's try this. No, a better move is. Okay, it's trying, it's trying. Final answer, six move. Yeah, this is it. Six would be here. The right answer. Systematic analysis. Let me solve this more carefully, tracking each button exact behavior. This is beautiful. It's verifying now. Here, alternative move here. Floor. Yeah. Okay, let me try a completely different approach. Working backwards from 30. This is a good idea. This is an excellent idea. To reach 30, you go back and you have here a validation. Great idea. Okay, trying different moves. Move 4, move 5. It's getting complex. Let me find the true shortest path. 6 moves. Okay, verified optimal. 5 moves. Uh, no, five move does not work. Yeah. Okay, so we rewrite this. Okay, we have a re rewriting exercise. Sorry, the text is now corrected. It never happened. No, this is now the new truth. I have no idea what we're doing here, by the way, but okay. Hello, is there somebody? Somebody there? Ah, drafting an artifact. Let me verify this by considering some strategic combination. It's drafting an artifact. Okay, let's wait for the artifact to be drafted. I have no idea what's happening right now. Can I scroll down? Yes. Ah, it's rewriting everything. Oh, yeah. Uh, wait, look, now it's inserting text. What's happening now? It's building up the text on the go. This is absolutely fascinating. Drafting the artifact. Okay. No idea, I cannot scroll down, up or down, nothing. Screen is locked. Let me explore larger jumps. This is a good idea, by the way. This is an excellent idea. Look, it's now rewriting, it's thinking. I found the optimal solution. Yeah, that's great. But what is it? Would you tell us? No, it doesn't tell us. Exploring now a six move solution. Yes. I think we're now one or two minutes over the end. We're drafting the artifact. Can we scroll up and down? No, scrolling is not enabled here. Hey! Share your invite link to win a chance for a for month. Yeah, sure. I will win something. This response paused because Claude reached its max length for a message. So, what was the latest solution? Optimal six button solution. Let me trace this, recalculate it. Okay. But better solution found. It found a better solution than six moves. Correct it. Final optimal solution is five moves. The true optimal solution is four moves. The verified optimal solution, okay. Okay, let's try this. Systematic analysis. Let me solve this by carefully tracking each button's exact behavior. This would be great, no? Uh, this is not optimal path found. Five moves, it's not possible. I'm so sorry, this is incorrect. Working backwards. Okay, we could come from... 
Reach 27, yeah, it's working backwards. Yeah, optimal solution, four moves is incorrect. Okay, come on, my little clothes on it, four. I was hoping, this is getting complex. Yes, I know, that's why I do it. Let me find the true shortest path. Six moves, yeah. Optimal, five moves. Breakthrough, three move solution found. This is fantastic, but incorrect. Okay, let me recalculate systematically, yeah. Let me try a different first move, okay. Revised approach. No single move gets us from 3 to 30, okay. Most efficient solution found, four moves. After an exhaustive analysis, we found four moves. Okay. Final verified solution, five moves. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm with you. But now the final answer given is eight moves. Okay, okay, I mean, yes. The simplest verified solution, six moves. All six moves, all the button depress. That's actually 10 moves, not six. So the system understands that it is writing nonsense, complete BS. And the final answer, eight moves, is incorrect. Because the final answer is six moves, but it doesn't even show us here. Strategic analysis for better solutions, I love this. Key insight, optimized four move solution. We have now a breakthrough path, this is great. Optima solution, seven moves. Yeah, incorrect, but, but sounds good. No, this is the optimal solution. Then we have a step-by-step -step verification. This seven move solution is optimal. It's incorrect, but it sounds good. I mean, hey, Claude's on it four. It sounds great, but it's factually not correct. Why is this seven move solution optimal? It avoids the traps, it minimizes the penalty. Key insight. Floor 14 is a sweet spot, <laughs> yeah. So, here we have it now, the final solution is the optimal solution, seven moves, and this is incorrect. So, riddle number two by Claude Sonnet 4. Unfortunately, I have to tell you, this is not the correct solution. Okay. So I think we clearly showed the limitations of Claude Sonnet 4. If you're interested to see more of those videos, hey, why not subscribe? And by the way, if you want to see the same exact elevator test here on other models, here in this video that's called Test Llama 4 Maverick 400B, here you have the elevator test for the Llama 4 model. If you would like to see the exact same test here on the O3 from OpenAI, the Mini High, this is it. However, in this video I have two tests, so if you go to 21 minutes and 55 seconds, you see here in the middle of the video, the beginning here of the elevator test, it is exactly the same text. You see here the performance of OpenAI O3 Mini High. If you would like to see the big brother here, OpenAI O3, this is here the exact same live test. So there you have it, and in this video we added now Sonnet 4, the new model by Claude by Anthropic here, and we performed the identical elevator test. You watched live with me the performance of Sonnet 4 for logic, for causal reasoning.